Okay, so about a week ago, I made a video with the title in quotes. It was in quotes. That's very important. Data science is dying. I had that both in the title and the thumbnail. The quotes were there both times. A lot of people liked that video. In fact, it got many thousands of views. Some of you were extremely angry at that video, which I know that you didn't actually watch. Some of you literally said, I am not watching this video, but insert angry comment here because I am somehow insinuating that data science is dying when I put it in quotes. Okay, people, when I put it in quotes, that means I'm not saying it. If I was the one saying it, I would just leave out the quotes like I do in every other video title and thumbnail. So that's not something I said. So this video is going to elaborate for the folks that did understand what I was saying, and I'm going to clarify and give a different point of view for those that really didn't watch that video because they were angry at the title. Basically, the point of that video was that data scientists have been considered sexy for a while, and I get it, like, you know, one sample size here is definitely pointing in that direction, but no, okay, I'm, I'm just kidding. Data scientist is a great job. Like you do really fun things. You actually do expand the knowledge of the human race. Like we are actively moving towards things that are really developing society. Genuinely, whenever like Uber or Tesla gets the self-driving cars stuff really figured out, which is just like a masterclass in object detection and, you know, algorithms supporting that. I think that's going to be truly fascinating when this stuff starts to really merge. We've heard a lot about how ChatGPT supposedly gets images and text and understands everything, but I only see it being used for text, so I don't know. When that stuff actually starts really, really getting cemented in the technology that we're using, instead of companies just kind of claiming that they're using artificial intelligence, you know, it's going to really pick up even more than it is today. So let me just ask the question, how could a data scientist job be dying in the first place? Well, we'd either have to be getting less data on average. That's not true. We're getting more. We'd have to be doing all of the things that we can with it. Well, that's not true. We're getting an abundance of research papers every single day in the area. And again, as companies have more data, there is more to do with that data. So that's not happening. Or it would have to be transitioning to some other role where even if we're getting data and these algorithms, maybe it's just not data scientist anymore. It's something else. And that's actually actually what the uh, article that I was talking about was referring to. Basically, they were saying how 10 years ago, data scientists was so sexy. And now apparently data engineering is very sexy. It's fun. I, I actually don't mind doing data engineering. I do it a lot more than I used to. I think that it more often kind of represents the role. What I really like about data engineering is when people actually say I'm a data engineer, I have a pretty good idea of what you do. You almost certainly use SQL or something that kind of does SQL in the background like, you know, Apache Beam or Spark or relational database stuff, or maybe even just, you know, not not relational database stuff as well, like maybe Mongo. You're moving data around, you're creating pipelines so that it takes it from A to B. You are helping create that massive, disgusting, confusing uh, architecture chart that you get day one on the job and it makes no sense. So I kind of get what you do as a data engineer. Now, conversely, one of the most irritating things about being a data scientist is that if I were to tell you that I was a data scientist, and I'm not really one anymore, I'm more of a web developer, but it doesn't really matter. If I were to tell you that I was a data scientist, what would I actually do? Well, I would have to tell you all of the things that I did. Whereas again, a data engineer, you're probably creating pipelines. If you're a data scientist, you could be just analyzing data for maybe more of a business intelligence style. You're creating visualizations for others to understand or to create like PowerPoint presentations to explain those things. Maybe you are doing data engineering by creating your own pipelines because you often have to do that anyway. Are you an AI engineer? Are you mostly making machine learning models? If you're making machine learning models, why aren't you called a machine learning engineer? If you're doing object detection or computer vision or natural language processing or LLMs, why aren't you an LLM engineer? I could, you get the point, okay? There's there's so many different terms going on with data scientists. I don't know what the heck you do. So I think that concept is a big reason why people are wondering if data science is still sexy because like there's so many different terms that mean the same thing. Well, isn't deep learning engineer sexy? Isn't AI and machine learning and even data engineering and data analysts? So basically all of these different things, it's getting very, very confusing to know which one is actually which, and you have to describe your role to an employer or to someone that's curious with the things that you actually do. Whereas 10 years ago, before machine 
machine learning models were like absolutely everywhere, you know, a data scientist was starting to do those things and making they were making predictive models. And they also made graphs and visualizations, and they still do now, but it's moved a lot more towards machine learning than it has the raw data stuff. So the main point of this, guys, is that data scientists in general are everywhere, like they're kind of data analysts, they're kind of data, data engineers, they're kind of AI engineers, machine learning engineers, all of those different things that I just said, data scientists are often that. And so you cannot argue, like it's impossible to argue right now, if being a data scientist is still sexy or not. It's everywhere, like it's all of these different data roles, it's often all of them packed into one role, where you analyze data, you create pipelines, you make machine learning models, you inform on that. They are very, very important roles. There's a lot of them today. Sometimes they are called data scientists, sometimes they are called AI engineer and other things. But the role as in general, what you're actually doing, yes, it's uh, it's it's sexy. So guys, just in case you were still annoyed about that one video where I put in quotes that data science is dying, that's not something I said, I think that data science is getting confusing as to who actually is one, or like the people that are not one, basically, because it seems like everybody is one, regardless of the job discussion, data scientists are everywhere and more data is coming and the American economy is booming right now. If you look at the stock market, you'll see that uh, it's doing quite well as opposed to the year slash year and a half ago. It's doing very well right now and we are going to need data scientists and other people in similar roles to work on that data. Of course, if you want to be a data scientist, analyst, or all of these different things, I would suggest looking right here at mlnow.ai and have a great day guys. Bye-bye.